How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, and what is that? Yes, that's Modern Warfare 2, and I'm playing it on the Xbox One. If you don't know, Modern Warfare 2 recently became backwards compatible after years and years of people asking for it. It finally happened, so I figured we'd jump in, play Modern Warfare 2 in 2018, and see how it plays. All right, guys, so we're jumping our first match here. It's going to be on Underpass. If you guys don't remember this map, it's a... More of a big team battle-ish kind of map, if you know, like it's called Ground War. Uh, man, I used to play this game a ton. This game was absolute, this game was another game changer of a game, if that even makes sense. I can't believe I feel like I have to run a medium sense. I used to run 7 out of 10 sensitivity in this game. Now I feel like a slow nub. But this, this was my main class I definitely like to use. It was a Science e UMP, Fast 12, Extended Mag. Fast 12 is amazing in every way in this game. Guy, can't look at this camp and sniper right here. See ya, friend! And I played this game a ton. I mean, I literally played this game to the point where my disc actually almost snapped because of just how much usage it had. And yeah, like this game, like it's, just, it's such a game changer of a game. Oh my god, the guy melted me instantly. Just camping in a window, man. What a champ. I mean, this game was amazing because it was just over the top, crazy amount of fun, but it also certainly had its issues. A lot of issues right here. Like a lot of the kill streaks were just kind of stacked on top of each other, and you just get constant kill streaks, and they're super easy to get. Like this guy right here, he's got a few kills. Oh, guy get wrecked, dude. That's a little three piece right there. Got you too. Oh no, I'm getting shot. No, oh, I was one off my freaking predator. Damn it. Oh, I was like, I could have sworn I hit, hit somebody, but there's no way someone's using cold blood in one over two. Uh, but there is, of course. There had to be. And the reason why this game was just so huge because Call of Duty 4 really kind of set the ground for this game to be just the, the mammoth of a game it became. With Call of Duty, with, at the time, people were so tired of just constantly dealing with World War II shooters. Modern, the original Modern Warfare comes out and blows people away because they didn't realize how much fun a Modern Warfare shooter could be. Oh my god, the lag is insane! Oh my gosh, damn. And of course, it's peer-to-peer -peer -peer connection, so that stuff's going to happen. Someone needs to tell their mom to get off Netflix! But also, this game really introduced to the masses, like, customizable loadouts, killstreaks, and all that good stuff in between, and just, like... It was just, this game was just fun. It wasn't balanced. It wasn't even fair. It was just a lot of fun to play though. I mean, when you get a nuke in this game, you just feel like a complete badass. You're like, yeah, I completely messed all you nerds up and I won the game basically. <laughs> Guy camping in the corner here. Oh, he's no, he's still camp. He's uh, he's playing the game. He's just uh, a real campy bro. Oh my god, these connections are so bad, guys. Oh my god, I got Predator. Let's go. Let's go. Can we get some before the kill game ends? Oh, maybe so. Oh, the game ended, of course. Let's see what the final kill is here. This is always a fun thing, too, just to see what the last kill of the game was. But it ended up just being just like a typical kill. I did like how Call of Duty is a change to kill of the game kind of thing. We finished 13 and 3 the first game, so not too bad for crazy amount of lag. First game back in Call of Duty, Modern for 2 in a long time. All right, guys, here we jumped into another match. We're playing Domination, which has always been my favorite game mode in Call of Duty. Uh, because I personally, one thing, I like the objective gameplay in most games. Uh, besides in Halo, I do actually really enjoy Slayer in that game mode just because uh, the way Slayer works in Halo, you still get people having to move around because of the way the uh, power-ups work and power weapons that, like, you can't, staying stationary won't do you any good. Oh, Greg, to my right. I heard him. Yes. That's the benefit of you having sit rep pro right there. You can see here these guys' footsteps coming a mile away, which is a beautiful thing. <laughs> a little cheap. I always felt like I had a really unfair advantage using sit rep pro and having a headset on this game, but you know what? In, 20, in 2009, that wasn't such a common thing. Where nowadays, it's a very common thing for people to be using headsets, so there's no need to feel shameful about... Uh, having a headset on in Call of Duty anymore. Now I am using the ACR in this game, which is just like a freaking laser beam. There is like, there is literally no recoil with this gun. And what I'm planning to do is kind of stay back a little bit since this map is very much about the uh, choke point, about certain lines of sight that you need to control. And the way we have these guys set up right now, it gets a good setup for us. And we got these guys spawning out by the B flag, which is gonna be huge for me. 
Trying to get a kill right here. There we go. I need one more from my Harrier. There we go. Ball drop it right there on the B flag. Just right on the flag. I really hope no one comes up with a noob tube and just lands right on me. So I'm gonna hide in the corner right now. I'm gonna let the Harrier do all the work for me. So I really, really want to get this chopper gunner before this game ends. Come on, Harrier. Give me one more kill. You can do it. I believe in you, Harrier. One more kill. I get the chopper gunner. Oh no, you teammate. You snatched my kill, you freaking jerk. That was my chopper gunner. Why would you do such a horrible thing to me? You did it again. Oh no, 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 no. Move, move, move. No, the, no, the predator came. Hey man, son of a bitch! Oh, dude, you don't know how badly you just screwed over us right there in that game, man. Oh, but you know, that is Mono for two in a nutshell right there. Is that it's all about stomping on kids in this game, and it gives you the highest highs and certainly the lowest of lows as well in this game. And I think that's one thing that actually kind of kept this game so addictive. Is that like it was just like I don't know if you guys ever played golf before, but this like when you're playing golf and you do really well, it makes you love the game and want to keep playing it. When you're doing horribly, you absolutely hate it and you question why you're even doing it in the first place. And I think that's a perfect analogy to what uh, Call of Duty, especially Modern for 2 is. Oh my god, I can't believe I got, I got so screwed off with that chopper gunner, guys. Guy snatches my kill two times in a row and then get hit with a predator missile because we're all lining up on that flag, man. And I've got body block trying to get in the cover. It's just... Such a shame. But luckily, what we've been experiencing, my experience so far, guys, I haven't been noob tubed once, which is really weird to say because back in the heyday of Modern Warfare 2, you could not play a Grand War lobby without dealing with someone who was using noob tubes. It was unreal. Gotta love the zero recoil of this gun, man. The ACR is so good in this game. That's probably why I didn't get. Oh my god, that sniper just completely wrecked me. How quick was the scope, man? This guy was on me and, like, no problem. Just bam! Blooped! Right there. That's another thing, dude. Like a lot of people said, like this is one. This game too was the reason why I feel like a lot of the sniper rifles uh, got nerfed pretty hard when it came to Black Ops One. A lot of people complained about that, and you know, I thought, oh my god, we won by one point. I can't believe that. <laughs> oh my god, I love Domination. It's such a great game. It was 16 and five that game. All right, guys. Next game we have here is Domination on sub base. Uh, again, like I said, Domination, dude. It's such a great game mode. Uh, I love it just one that it helps out a lot with the spawns in this game because in Call of Duty I've always felt like the spawns have been rather unpredictable and so then being able to play with the more predictable spawns because if you know one team will be spawning towards A and another team will might be spawning towards C and that's basically the basic gist of how things work when it comes especially with the spawn system in Call of Duty. Uh, if, we, if you ever played Team Deathmatch, it can be a little bit erratic at times, for sure. Oh, and the drop shot, though. You can't stop my drop shot skills, bro. Uh, this other team I'm playing against is rather coordinated. They're pretty good. They know what they're doing. So uh, running around is not going to be the best move for me. So I'm definitely going to play a little more strategic. A little slower. Down, slow down the pace of the game a little bit here. Grab this flag because we're a champ like that. And, oh, my God. Came right through the middle. Let's see. The thing, too, is that uh, comparing this game back to Call of Duty 4 is that... The weapon balance honestly was better, even though people complained about certain weapons being like too good and stuff like that. But the things that all the guns in this game were really freaking good to the point where all the guns were overpowered. And so then, you know, you couldn't really complain about once certain guns being too good because all the guns were good. Everything killed so quickly. And I think it just kind of like amplified like the core aspect of what made Call of Duty 4 so great. It was just being like that almost like making the hide and seek like game, but for uh the masses to play. Oh my god, I got so shrecked right there. And my team is really struggling in this game. So right now, I don't think my, my team is not doing right that good of a job trying to slay out and push forward. <gasps> and there's our first noob team of the game. <laughs> Here it comes, man. Oh my god. A level 10 nub. How are you level 10 in Modern Warfare 2, man? And I'm being real campy about it. these guys are like all over every angle. And it's kind of tough to really uh, keep up with these guys. Dude, this team is just so much better than our team, my team right now. It's unreal. Can I at least get this guy. Oh, I just spawned. This guy just killed me. Wow. Great spawn there, game. I guess that's the kind of stuff that happens when you try pushing into the enemy spawn. That, you know, you'll, you'll run into those situations. Jesus Christ, I peeked my head for two seconds. And I'm already getting shot. Oops, there's a guy right to my right over here. Oh my god, he got so wrecked by that. <laughs> Girl, oh my god, the noob tubes are real. I almost want to bust out the noob tubes just for like the, the memory's sake, but I know it'd be such a bastardly move. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably going like, oh my god, Kevin's quitting Halo going full-time, god. No, that's far from the chest. Jesus Christ, this commando kid's annoying me so much. But yeah, I'm sticking with Halo, guys. I'm sticking with Halo. This is just going to be like a one-off kind of thing. I mean, if you guys really like it, 
you know, make sure to leave a like on the video. Let me know you want to see more content like this. And uh, definitely provide more for you guys. But, uh, you know, it's still going to be... I'm still... I'm a Halo guy through and through. Dude, we got absolutely stomped 63 to 200. I was the, like the only person on my team that went positive, except for like one dude. Everyone else was getting stomped and leaving. So yeah, that's Modern Warfare 2 for you guys. A little bit of everything. You had some Commando speedrunners. You had some people using noob tubes. But overall, it's still a really fun experience. I almost had that chopper gunner. Oh, that would have been so great, especially in that situation we're in. Oh, the teammates. National those kill. But yeah, Modern Warfare 2 still holds the test of time being in 2018 because every call of duty game after this one is basically built off of this game this game changed gaming for like a decade it even changed halo and that's why we got halo 4 is because of modern warfare 2 and the popularity of call of duty so that's how xbox one plays uh with uh, modern warfare 2 i'm gonna be probably playing this a bunch more as well on stream and like maybe making some more videos if you guys want to see some more content like this we'll see how this one goes if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to tap that like button let's know if you want to see some more content like this leave a comment down below what your guys' story is behind modern warfare 2 i do really like to read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well if you're new to the channel I will say I upload basically Halo, but this was kind of maybe like a one-off test of water to see how things are. If you want more Call of Duty or more Halo, subscribe. Anyways, guys, check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.